What's going on everyone? This is my 2007 Toyota 4Runner and I've had it now for about three months, put about 5,000 miles on it so far. This is my third 4Runner and so I figured, you know what, it'd be a good idea to make a video about the five things I love about the fourth gens. And so I'm not gonna waste too much time, we'll go ahead and get right into it. Uh, first thing being, uh, the design, the styling, the aesthetic, the silhouette of this vehicle. Uh, I love it. There's a reason I this is my third one. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is. It's it, it's aggressive yet sleek. It's not you know too obnoxious. It's not too loud. It's minimal yet you know makes its presence known kind of thing. I don't I don't really know <laughs> what it is about about this, but I feel it's so timeless. It it's you know not going to go out of style. It's aged very well, especially you know compared to a lot of other vehicles from the 2003 to 2009 range some of them you know just didn't age well at all second thing the size it's not too big it's not too small you don't really feel like you're driving a tank but it's still a decent size and you know you can get into some parking lots and bigger cities you can you know parallel park it's just a it's just a nice size you don't feel like you're sitting on the ground, but you can still see above traffic when you're driving. Um, and, you know, like the interior size as well. It's got, you know, when you fold down the seats, it's got about a six foot bed. And, you know, you can haul stuff. You can, you know, move if you need to. You know, you can camp. So the interior space is, is amazing for me. It's a huge, I mean, that's probably one of the reasons I bought it is because I wanted to go, wanted to go camping and whatnot and just have that extra space to haul stuff. And I don't really need a truck bed for necessarily. Next thing is going to be the ride quality. And for this, I am sitting, I'm, I'm pretty stock almost, you know, I've got a leveling kit, which I'll show you just a small little leveling kit, nothing crazy. And... Um, I'm riding on, you know, Michelin LTXs, so they're, you know, super conservative, chill tires, done damn near, uh, stock size, I believe, 265, 70, 17. Yeah, 265, 70, 17, so I believe that's stock ride size, um, from the factory. And the ride quality is just excellent, you know, I can't speak to it for those that are lifted and, you know, are running 33s or 35s and, you know, on two, three inch lift, this, that, and the other, but, you know, for what it is right here, this thing rides absolutely beautifully. It's like a dream. The road noise is, you know, it's, it's amazing for, you know, a body on frame SUV that's 14 years old um, on the road. Like it sounds really good. You don't really have the, the sound dampening is just, it's, it's just great. I had my 2014 Mazda 3 S Grand Touring, which I absolutely loved. Hands down, one of my favorite vehicles I ever owned. But one thing I hated about it was the road noise. It was so loud. And, you know, I figure a vehicle that's, you know, super modern, you know, especially compared to this, like it would be pretty quiet, but no, it was actually really loud and, and honestly quite obnoxious. But the ride quality on this is amazing. It's smooth. It just cruises um, right along. Don't really have any issues with it. And it's just a joy to drive. Number four is gonna be the simplicity just the simplicity of the vehicle you get in you have a key you know you can <laughs> unlock your car with the key simple nothing crazy and you know you get in you turn the key and, you, and you're off it's nothing fancy you don't have to worry about any you know you know losing connection on this that or the other it's just a classic body on frame vehicle there's nothing fancy about it you get in and you just go you know if your key gets damaged or anything like that you know you can have a new one printed for a couple buck or a you know, new one cut out for a couple bucks there's just you know nothing crazy expensive about it your head unit you want to replace it you can put damn near anything you want in it um it doesn't have any fancy technology or anything like that like it can go it's got the space it's got the reliability of the engine and you know it it just goes and that's you know one thing i love is just the pure simplicity of it Last thing, and I feel like this goes without saying, but it's the reliability. At this point, you know, everyone knows it, excuse me, but it's a reason that I'm really in love with <laughs> these fourth gens. You know, you got a beautiful, well-built vehicle, can go anywhere for a long time, 
maintain a good resale value and you don't really have to do much to keep it happy you know change the fluids make sure they stay clean just <laughs> drive normally you know don't be too much of a of a douche while you're driving and this thing will treat you well for a long time in terms of just mechanically and you know like physically just the paint and the interior you know i don't have any my car's kind of a mess right now but there's no tears on here just because the previous owner took care of it you know nothing nothing's wearing there's no cracks up here or anything like that and the well i'm not going to take that off but the factory the the carpets look great are in great condition you just just got to take care of your stuff and it'll go a long time it'll you know it'll treat you well if if you treat it well so those are just five things i absolutely love about you know these fourth gens do i plan on keeping this for a while yes maybe no it really just depends i do like switching my vehicles out if you guys haven't noticed i switch around many vehicles um over time but just something i enjoy doing but for now this is this is the one i'm keeping for a little bit and yeah five things i love if you guys have any questions please feel free to let me know and i do my best to answer them i will do a five things i hate or five things i strongly dislike about the vehicle because there isn't really much i hate about it um at all but yeah that's gonna be the video if you guys have any questions drop them down below hit the subscribe button if you want to see some other vehicle related content and i will talk to y'all soon